I don't tell the men that I date I'm transgender. And we're going to show you this guy. I mean, it's a guy. You can see him there. And I, I take a bit of issue with the New York Post. It, you know, I guess they're trying to... I don't know why they always do prop, like the preferred pronouns for people. I just don't know why. A single woman has revealed... Why are you doing that? Why are you playing pretend? I don't know. But this is what the New York Post writes. We'll blow it up for you. Again, I don't tell the men that I date that I'm transgender is the title. And uh, here's the explanation as such. A single woman has revealed that she doesn't tell men she's transgender straight away as people are, quote, too judgmental, saying she likes to wait until she's sure she wants to take things further. So this person going by Adia Danielle, who's 22 years old, always felt like there was something missing. And here's a crazy part about it. When this person was 16 years old and growing up, stumbled across a YouTube video and realized she was transgender. I'm going to take a drink so you can soak that in. Drink it in, Ethan. This person was 16 and watched a YouTube video, which convinced them that they're actually transgender. And after realizing she was in the wrong body, Adia told her mom and soon after began her journey to become a woman. I feel like this person's writing this on purpose because even if you were, I don't know, mandated to use the preferred pronouns, which you are not in the United States, you have freedom of speech. You don't have to write it this way. It means it's a company choice or that the uh, person is doing it on their own accord. So either they're being told to do that or they're not being told either way. And they, and they're doing that like on their own accord. And I tend to lean to the latter because they're using an awful lot of she, her, where it's not necessary, where they can put the person's last name or they or anything like that or the whatever they want to put into place. But there's a lot of she and her in there. So I'm um, tended to tending to believe that they're doing this on purpose. We can see more pictures of this uh, male. Um, and of course, they're from Canada. Despite being finally comfortable in her body, the Canadian influencer with over 138,000 followers on Instagram says she chooses often not to disclose the fact that she's transgender to men, which is often met with backlash. Hmm. I wonder why. And it gets more narcissistic as we go on and, and self-delusional. And this is why you can't play into this lie. And, and even though people say, you know, it's hateful and you're hurting them, there's no evidence that it makes it better if you play along with the lie, just like you don't, you know, if you don't tell somebody they got something on your in their teeth, just because you're you don't want to be mean, be the person to be mean and tell them uh, immediately, it makes it worse in the long run because then they're walking around with stuff in their teeth. A silly comparison, but I think it goes to the idea that you're not actually helping somebody by uh, not telling them the truth. Here's what they say. Oh, I hate these. Don't you guys hate these banner pop downs? I truly despise them. Like, what am I supposed to do here now? I got to scroll back down and it starts going it away. There's so much around the trans label. And if a guy were to learn that I'm trans before, he would make up a whole idea of how I am and how I must act. Um, I don't think that's what it is, actually. I don't think the reason why men change their opinion once they find out that you were bored a man, I don't think... It's because they come up with a whole idea of who you are and how you act. I think it's the fact that they're home. Now, this isn't to be mean, but this is just to be the reality of the situation where this person thinks that it has nothing to do with the fact that they're a man um, and were born a man. And up until 16, where a man went through puberty as a man, it actually has to do with the fact that they think that your personality is going to be a certain way and you're going to act a certain way. So that's, you know, we're we're straddling the line here as we look at pictures of him as a boy and then through surgeries. Um, I want him to get to know me, the person says. So I just tell them when I'm interested and when I want to take things further. So you know that the person thinks you're a woman. And in that way, you're sort of omitting the truth is the best way you can look at it. And then you wait till you think the time is right. And then you tell the person that you actually been, have been lying about their identity. <laughs> Imagine, you know, you could say that a person, you know, Rachel Dolezal is going to let you think uh, that, that she's black the whole time and then tell you maybe at the end. Um, but this person sees no problem with it. Adia explained, it's common when dating not to disclose your full past until the relationship has developed. 
It's my past, and you're going. You're not going to meet somebody and tell them everything that happened in your past. She said. Online guys often comment, "Oh, you're lying to men," but then how can they say I'm lying if I present myself as a woman? So they're basically saying I'm a man. Yes, yes, they are basically saying that. This person thinks that you being a man biologically, and I don't know what surgeries they've had is akin to, you know, telling a person you were adopted or telling a person that, you know, you went to a private school or telling a person that your father was in the military. So you moved around a lot. A person's not. Um, <laughs> so you can say that a person not shouldn't be privy to your past at all. And then you tell them and they and they can change their mind. But that's exactly what they're allowed to do. Once a person learns about who you are, they're allowed to change their mind if you tell a person oh actually i murdered three people when i was younger um they're allowed to think of you in a different light and if you want to think that's an extreme example sure if you tell somebody you were a pickpocket or a criminal when you were a kid if you tell somebody that maybe you were abused or something if you tell somebody that maybe you were a billionaire child you didn't want to tell somebody that you were a billionaire they might think differently of you because you're presenting yourself differently that's entirely their right and for this person to say not only they can they say I'm lying. How can they say I'm lying if I present myself as a woman? Because you are lying. That's the thing. You're present. How would you be presenting yourself as a woman when you're just a woman? It's not pre. It, I'm not presenting myself as a doctor because I'm a doctor. Like I'm presenting myself as one. You see the the card. It, it should be a cardinal and easy difference. This is like grade four difference here. But for some reason, after 2017 ish that ballpark it became you know you have to go to remedial levels here and you can't say that this doesn't make any sense at all or else you're hurting people you can't say that um just because i'm pretending to be something that i'm not that you can't say that and then they say they're basically saying i'm a man they're not basically saying that you're a man they are saying that you're a man and if you wonder why all these men are saying that you're a man the problem is pro probably you I would wager. Um, growing up, Adia recalls dressing her mom's clothes and wanting to play with her sister's toys and believes her family knew she was, quote, different, which is fine. Nobody cares. Literally, nobody cares about that. Um, Adia believes not much is known about transgender people outside of the community, saying it's often thought that people wake up and decide their gender when, in fact, it is not a choice. See, the problem with that is, is that they have positioned it so that you can do that, though. You can't question it. And in this person's case, you cannot question the fact that they just say that they're a woman. So on one hand, you don't want people to question it at all and you want them to just accept it. But then you wonder why people say that you've just woken up and chosen your gender. Well, when there can be no conversation and there can be no burden of proof on the person claiming to be a woman, in this case, you can just say it, then there's going to be people who think the worst of you. I'm sorry to tell you, it doesn't, it, it, people just don't have to believe you. And that seems to be the biggest thing, the biggest problem. I was watching a Michael Knowles thing yesterday about him talking to uh, protesters at his event that said he is, you know, transphobic, blah, blah, blah. And why would a person say that they're a woman if they're not a woman? You know, people make things up. People are influenced by things. There's a big problem in this, uh, in the Gen Z where, you know, you just have to believe people. You don't you don't believe certain subsects of people because you've labeled them as evil, whether it be Republican or uh, straight men or something or women who want to have their own locker rooms or not have men in their sports. Those people are bad. We've established that. But other people who politically align with you, they have to be believed. And that's a weird, weird stance that we've gotten into lately. So. Previously, apparently, Adia hit headlines after revealing the complications they suffered after going a Brazilian butt lift. So if you are a man, a woman and you're just presenting yourself as one and somebody would should just believe you, then why do you need a butt lift? That's what I don't understand. There's supposed to be no concrete definition of what is a woman. It should be whatever you want to be is a woman if you just call yourself one and then... You, but for some reason, these people still go out and they get butt lifts and they get this undergoing gender affirming surgery, which, of course, is a pretend word that we made up to say uh, plastic surgery and, uh, you know, plasties and 
gynoplasties and penoplasties and whatever the words are. So why do you need to, you know, look like a like a stereotypical woman if there's no such thing as woman? That's what doesn't make any sense. And then they talk about, you know, putting gauze in the places where you don't want to talk about putting gauze in the places. There's another picture of this guy where I, I hope you could tell that it's a guy up close, but um, maybe some people can't. Uh, there's garnered immense support online, such as this article and this banner still in the way. Here, this is the picture I think you can really tell. I mean, you know, do what you want, I guess. But like, if you think you have the the right to mislead people and then when they find out you've been misleading them, they don't like you and they're not allowed to do that. I mean, there there's a reason. And the reason that they go with is that it's everybody's fault but mine because society and social media has told me for a few years now that this is the greatest thing in the world. And that's where we are on that topic. I wish that stuff was funnier.